everyone. Yesterday we had a crazy good day in the studio uh, practicing, working with, experimenting with uh, Vallejo paints and that was great. However, in the studio yesterday we had a very challenging day, a very unsatisfactory day with technology. And I posted the video last night because I was bound and determined to do it, but I can't say that I'm proud of it. I really wanted to show the examples, uh, but gosh, the quality of the video was sadly lacking, and I apologize for that. So today, it's going to be much better. I believe the battery is completely charged up. It is. And uh, I have 110 minutes. So let's hope that this tutorial does not take that long. One thing that I did yesterday that was uh, kind of fun that I wanted to show you is right here. And that was taking just a little bit of the Vallejo paint with just a tiny bit of pouring medium. And then I uh, put it in a skewer and walked the dots out like you were doing dot painting. And I, I was just so impressed with the integrity of the paint and how even down to the tiniest dot, it stayed really great. That makes me excited to get back to doing some more dot painting, that's for sure. But I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about fall, thinking about how to do a pour today. So we're just going to do another experiment and see how it goes. My thinking is we're going to flip and pull and this will be kind of maybe sort of, I hope, a trunk and that will be more like leaves. I have no idea if it will work because I expect it will go everywhere. Uh, but let's just hope that it is pretty. So we're going to do browns in the first pour and do other colors, of course, for the leaves. Most of the paints, again, are Vallejo with, and I'll post the amounts uh, in the comments, but it's just about one to one Vallejo to Floetrol and pouring medium, little iridescent pouring medium. No silicone, and I hope you can see that. There's some beautiful action taking place in the cup, even with no silicone. I'm so excited about that. It would make me just so tickled to not have to use silicone anymore. And I noticed even in my resin, resin, excuse me, resin paintings. Um, I think I'm not going to stir this because I kind of want it. No, I'll give it one small little stir. Even in resin paintings when I use the Resi Blast, so we're just going to give it one little whoop, that I get a lot of residue uh, just from the Resi Blast. And I just, I like the effect of it, but I don't like what it leaves behind. So out of camera shot. Let me show you what we have. Whoops, I don't want to tip that over. So there's a uh, red that I mixed and that red is uh, naphthol red light that I mixed with some transoxide red and just a little bit of Van Dyke brown. And this is the transparent orange that we used yesterday and then I added Van Dyke brown to it. That Van Dyke Brown, by the way, is golden. It's not... It's not, uh, you know, Vallejo. And we have some transparent yellow. And the green that we used yesterday, that's the medium green with just a little bit of yellow added to it. I'm going to have a lot of paint here. I do think I want to put a little bit of that in the leaves as well. Got a mighty full cup here. 
I do want to get a little more of the red in. And we're going to give this one a little stir, too. Because we do want that to get broken up a little bit. Cool. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right. So, I hope I do this right. I haven't done this kind of flip for a while. Uh, here we go. So I want that one to be on the top. This one is on the bottom. I've never done a flip with two cups in this size. Sorry, I'm out of shot here, sorry. And this size canvas, uh, this is a 12 by 24. Oh gosh, I feel like it's gonna flip and balance it. All right, are we ready? Uh, one, two, three. All right, coming out. Just gonna hold it like this and get started putting some of the white on before I move anything. And again, the white has the titanium buff added to it. I probably put a little bit more in today than I did yesterday. I really did not want uh, white white for this particular painting. And I have no idea what we're going to find when I take this off. It could be disheartening. Okay, the time has come. Oh, all right. And I bought a container to keep some of the extra when I pour it off. And of course, I set that out of my reach. So I won't be using that today. Never fails, right? to do just I just want to get a little bit and just see what happens with that just to have a little bit of blue a little hint that it's sky and probably I'll get covered up but you know it was one of those passing thoughts and everybody knows what I'm looking for, right? I set it out before I started, so I would have my tack close by. This is so funny. All right, so let's just see what happens if I don't bother to do it. Uh, this one's coming out more, so let's go down and do this a little bit first. I'm gonna keep it above the surface of the canvas. Uh, see, that's what happens uh, when you uh, when you have that suction. It's very pretty. And clearly, I have a section section up above too, because that hasn't moved and nothing's coming out. So this. That's interesting. We have quite a border between them. That, of course, doesn't mean it's going to stay. But hmm. Good grief. That's pretty. Hmm. So I'm thinking. I need to get rid of.
Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm thinking. That is really cool. It's okay for me to say cool today. Uh, I think I want to do a little more. Let's talk and a little more action. nervous about using this camera that does not belong to me and getting paint on it. I think I'm not quite satisfied. So we're going to do a little more changing and then I'll be back. Yikes. It gets dangerous when I go off camera. So I did additional work and then I got all crazy up in here and I put glitter on, not glitter, well I did put glitter on, a little holographic glitter and some copper and gold leaf and then I couldn't decide if it was overkill to let a few fall and then I saw, oh look, it happened anyway so just a couple extras so there we are with our fall tree a little muted but quite pretty thank you all for hanging out with me today have a great day and stay creative everyone <laughs>